The past month, partially due to the Grammy Awards, has been a huge time for music, with big events coming from Kanye West, Lady Gaga, and more. This has been an extremely exciting time, so let's get to it. I'm Taryn Warden, and this is Taryn's Day. Over the past month, Kanye West has been working on the release of his new album, but also having a basically month-long Twitter rant. His erratic and disturbing behavior began when he decided to change his album's name from Swish to Waves. Rapper Wiz Khalifa tweeted against the title Waves, claiming Kanye's music is not wavy. He also had it hit this KK, which Kanye misunderstood for his wife, Kim Kardashian. But Wiz was really talking about marijuana. From that, Kanye went on an over 30 tweet rant that included digs at Wiz's music, his son, with Kanye's ex-girlfriend Amber Rose, and added that he wishes he was tall and skinny like Wiz. While it was already exciting, that was not the end. Amber Rose fired back at Kanye, who dissed her, as well as her son, insinuating some TMI details I will not disturb you with. Kanye waited nearly 36 hours to deny her claims and later apologized for speaking about someone else's child and deleted the tweets. After releasing his album, which was changed again to be called The Life of Pablo, Kanye spent Valentine's Day with another disturbingly erratic rant, this time partially to Mark Zuckerberg, creator of Facebook. Kanye started the rant about being $53 million in what he called personal debt, then begged Zuckerberg to invest $1 billion into his ideas, then said he was practicing his Grammy speech for the album of the year despite not having the nomination. Kanye ended by saying he will have over 100 Grammys when he dies, and he's proud of his debt because he was true to his musical mission. He ranted again during the Grammy Awards about white reporters and black music, but in the end, his album, The Life of Pablo, is out now, available for streaming on Tidal, and will be sold next week. In music news not involving Kanye West, Rihanna finally released her eighth album. Anti is her first work since 2012 and is charting around the world. The Boys of One Direction have been busy after ending their work together. Zayn Malik, who left the band, released his first solo single, Pillow Talk, and is working on his second now. Louis Tomlinson and his ex-girlfriend welcomed their first child, a son named Freddie Rain, and Harry Styles, who began the band's frontman, split from One Direction's management to go solo in the near future. Lady Gaga has been extremely busy this month. After winning her first Golden Globe, Lady Gaga opened the 50th Super Bowl with the national anthem, followed by a David Bowie tribute at the Grammys. Lady Gaga's tribute was the culmination of her collaboration with Intel, that combined technology with creativity and spanned through Bowie's nearly 50 year long career. It was truly one of the best things I have ever seen and I am still not over it. On top of that, Lady Gaga will be performing at the Oscars at the end of February and here's a Terrence Take Insider. When the DJ and producer Maddian came to town a few weeks ago, he gave me some details into Lady Gaga's next album set to be released this year. Maddie had produced on her last album and said that he will not be a part of her next because she's going in a completely different direction, which I feel may be Bowie inspired. Lastly, the Grammys were held this Monday with big winners of Kendrick Lamar, Megan Trainor, and Taylor Swift. Finally, love and relationship news. The most controversial news came from the Kardashians' younger brother, Rob. After being hospitalized and diagnosed with diabetes, Rob confirmed his relationship with model Black China. Black China is Amber Rose's best friend, which means the Kardashian family is not a fan of hers. Black China was also rapper Tyga's girlfriend, who she had her son, King Cairo, with, and Tyga is currently dating Rob Kardashian's baby sister, Kylie Jenner. The family is allegedly very upset by the new relationship, and following their new relationship, Black China was arrested in Austin for a drunken disorderly conduct on an airplane prior to liftoff. Rob drove 22 hours straight and bailed his new love out of jail. Mind you, Kim could not even get Rob to leave his house for her wedding. And finally, Lamar Odom has made his first public appearance since this incident at a Las Vegas brothel we reported a few months ago. At the brothel, Lamar was found unconscious, but Lamar attended the Yeezy season three fashion show, which is Kanye West's fashion line, with his estranged wife, Khloe Kardashian. The couple looked truly happy and healthy, and we're all happy for them. Again, the past month was an extremely exciting time in pop culture. Be sure to follow Terrence Take on Twitter for hundreds of other stories, and back to you.